for when, when we go on break, I really need to find some nail covers. Okay, and we have speed anytime. Perfect. Okay, so Chad, tell me about your character in the House of Wax. Um, my character's Nick, and he's uh, he's the enigma. You know, he's the mystery to to the rest of the to the rest of the characters in the story. He takes this really tough facade to cover up his insecurities and. Boy, it's fun playing the badass. <laughs> so I hear that you were actually approached by Joel, Sil Joel Silver for this role. Right. Um, what's it like getting a call from, you know? Oh, such? God. Um, it's honestly, it's an honor. You know, uh, that was one of the reasons I really wanted to jump on board. It's just that at 23, to be able to work with Joel and learn from the man who's such an icon in production, I, you can't say no to that. So are you a horror film fan? Did you see the first remake of the film? I am, I am, I am. Um, I did see the first one, and, uh, you know, completely two different stories. We contemporized it and took a lot of liberties in making changes, and, you know, it's a faster, more upbeat, fun film for the demographics of today, and uh, it's, it, I love it. It's, 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 it's a good ride. So how grueling was it, you know, to be in contact with all that wax? Oh, God. <laughs> wax is a pain in the ass. It really is. No offense, wax, but um, it's... All you want at the end of the day is a shower. You just want to get home, shower, get it off, and oh, then you go back and do it again. So I hear there was a little problem with the fire on the set. You know, can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it was uh, one of our first days working with the fire, and it was myself and Brian Van Holt were the actors in the scene, kind of the climactic point of the movie in the middle of the fight scene, and I'm laying on the ground on, like, the third take or something like that, and... All I noticed was it started getting hot, and so I turned my head, and uh, all of a sudden I noticed little water blisters on my knuckles, and I was like, okay, screw this, I'm out of here. And I jump up, and by the time I turned around, it was just, it took the wall, and um, it was great, because our, our first AD, Jamie, he was so heroic, and that he immediately evacuated, and uh, we saw that there was kind of enough stopping it, and we got outside, and I'm, I was holding the door open, and he was the last one out, and he just made sure everyone got out. It was... Uh, it was, uh, you know, quite honorable that he was doing that. So your role in House of Wax is quite different from what you've done so far, you know, romantic comedies and, you know, right. character in One Tree Hill. Right. So uh, how challenging was it for you? Um, it was just nice to have a departure from that, you know. Um, it's such a such a wide departure from, from everything that I've done. And it was just exciting, you know, to put on someone else's skin and try something new. I really enjoyed it. What other characters would you like to play? Such a barrage. I mean, everything from you know, Travis Bickle in, in Taxi Driver to, you know, what Sean Penn did in I Am Sam, you know, to Carlito's Way. I mean, there's so many performances that I really admire and love, and I, I just hope at some point I'll have an opportunity to try out a bunch of different ones. So any upcoming film projects that you're working on? Yeah, I'm starting a movie called Stealing Cars uh, with Warner Brothers in June, and it's... It's phenomenal. It's a character piece, and it's it's cool hand Luke, really. It's uh, it's it's basically Good Will Hunting if if Will Hunting went to prison instead of therapy. So, what what kind of factors influence you when you're accepting a role? Um, gosh, you know, there's a lot of aspects that bring me to a film or not. You know, depending on you know what choices I have, and what choices I have for. Any particular year, you know, for House of Wax, it was first off working with Joel. Second, it was the character was such a departure, and and now, you know, I've done the horror genre, and it's it's time to do something else because I just I just want to. It's just more fun for me, and um, now I'm going on to a character piece. It's a very uh, you know very controlling death wish character, and, and and then as I go along, I'll just try to select different things that appeal to me. What was it like working with the rest of your cast? Members, Alicia. Oh, God, they're all awesome. You know, Alicia's such a consummate professional. She's so professional. She's professional. She's such a strong woman. Uh, Paris was a pleasure to work with. I mean, she she showed up and she really wanted to work, and I think that impressed everybody. And, and Jared, I've known, he's such a goof. I've known him for, like, five years, so we just had a blast. We roomed together in Australia, and uh, it was just a ride. How did you find filming in Australia? I loved it. Did I you? loved it. Well, you know, you get to go to the casinos and, uh... Any beaches? I'm not a big beach buff. I don't really like to, 
to do the ocean thing, but uh, that's just me. It's kind of uncanny how you and Alicia kind of look alike. I guess you guys play brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I look nothing like her siblings, and she looks nothing like mine, but hey, it worked. Uh, you recently got married. Congratulations. Thank you. And I heard that you actually proposed while filming. I did. I proposed in Australia, and um, it was it was just perfect. I just wanted to make it a uh, romantic day. You know, candles, flowers, the whole shindig. It was nice. Surprising. Thanks, Chad. Thank you very much. Pleasure. It's great meeting you. Absolutely.